So, hi guys, welcome back again to my kitchen and to my channel. I'm going to make another macaroni and cheese recipe for you guys. Everyone is asking me how to make macaroni and cheese. There's several ways to make macaroni and cheese. I'm going to show you how to make another one that I do all the time, especially when I'm having people over and make this a lot. So I'm going to show you how to make this mean, easy, fast and simple macaroni and cheese recipe. So if you want to see how I do this one, come on and let's get started. Amen. Here comes our old boy Jamaican. Right here I have my shell macaroni right there. You could use whatever kind of macaroni you want, but that is small shell macaroni. You're gonna need milk. I'm using almond milk. You're going to need your EVO, right there, extra virgin olive oil, three eggs. You're also going to need basil leaf. This is dried basil leaf. That's the one that I want you to use. Cottage cheese, right there. Butter. You're also going to need paprika, salt, and sugar. Okay? Yes, guys, you're going to need sugar for this particular macaroni and cheese recipe now let's talk about a cheese you can use whatever kind of cheese you want to use this is the Italian cheese okay so that is the cheese that I'm going to use I have two packs of those and then of course you want to make sure that you have your cheddar cheese you're definitely going to need your cheddar cheese and this is a natural cheese all right so that is what I'm going to be using right let's get started okay guys I have my pot that is, I have my hot boiling water in there. Make sure your water is nice and hot before you put your macaroni in there. You want to go ahead and add a pinch of salt, or maybe half a teaspoon of salt. And then you want to go ahead and add your EVO, extra virgin olive oil. And that is going to prevent your macaroni from sticking. Then you want to go ahead and add your macaroni in. And then you just want to go ahead and cook this. Halfway cook. Now cook the thing, the whole thing till it's softy softy, you know halfway cooked so within about 10 to 15 minutes probably less than 15 minutes I'm going to take this thing off because it's going to bake and it's going to finish up in the oven so 15 minutes 10 to 15 minutes I'll be back and we'll move on to the next step okay guys now that our macaroni is cooked you want to take it off of the stove top put it into a basin when it's nice and hot do not put cold water on it just go ahead and add your butter to it and just let that butter melt right into the macaroni and then you set this aside now we are moving on to our next step you want to get a blender and you want to add your three eggs to that you're going to add three cups of milk you're also going to add a tablespoon of white sugar Okay guys, I'm moving on to my next step before I pop my macaroni, my baked macaroni in my oven. I have my baking containers here. I am using this for my bit bun and bread and all them things that you know. For some reason when I'm making this particular macaroni and cheese recipe, I always use this one to do this one. So you just want to make sure you put your butter into it, make sure it's nice and buttery. Because you don't want your macaroni to stick. So now I'm going to go ahead and put my first layer of macaroni into the bottom okay so you do the first layer like that and then you just want to go in with your mozzarella and just layer it on top like that so you go ahead and you put your Scottish cheese now you go back in with your macaroni And you go back in again with more of that mozzarella cheese on top. And then you go back and add some more of that yellow cheddar cheese. A little bit more of that cottage cheese on top. And then a little bit more of that basil leaf to top it off and that is what that should look like so far 
Now, this is a final touch you're going to do. You're going to get the stuff that you blended up in the blender and you just want to pour it right into your macaroni. Finally, you just want to get some paprika and just kind of pinch a little bit of that paprika on top of your macaroni. Okay guys, that is it. I'm going to pop this in my oven. Your oven should be on 375 degrees and this is going to be baked for a full one hour. Okay, so one hour uh, on your oven on 375. So I will see you back in an hour. Alright guys, as you can see my baked macaroni is all done. All done. So it's nice and hot and I am going to go into it so you guys can see what how cheesy that macaroni is look at that guys okay guys that is my mac and cheese baked mac and cheese mm. right, guys thumbs up like share 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 let me know what you like to see me cooking next in my kitchen and as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy I'm gonna let this cook for a good 30 minutes on medium heat cover it up nice and make it simmer and when it's done simmer a time for eat so see you back okay, in a guys, few minutes so this is in with your foundation full coverage you know like bam and last but not least the last thing i tend to go for in my makeup collection is this palette right here let me show you what this baby looks like it has a whole bunch of concealers i believe it's $10 for this palette.